Arctic stars at dawn the deep blue sky What care I for moon or stars What care I for storm or rain If I never hold my love again My archival song engineer was killed. Is he still at the ranch? It's a tragedy. Where? I'll hold on. Arabia? What company? You can't. Yeah, I see. For you, senor. Thank you. Well, do you have an idea where Greece the Arthur well, brothers Mr. Said? Collins could help us. When could he be here? Yeah, I see. No, I'm afraid we cannot wait that long. Do you know of any others? Okay, thanks. Goodbye. Many thanks, senor. Anything good, Largo? Did you locate Vic Scott? Nada. Nada. Good morning, senor Alando. I carried out your instructions for the widow's welfare. But as for finding someone to put out the fire, senor Nimes is in the hospital. Senor Troy was killed in a fire two months ago. Tucker's on his way to Somala, man. Arthur brothers aren't fighting fires anymore. I'll try Hernandez in Havana. Maybe he knows where Vic is. I already called him from the house. Nothing. Since Vic left Havana, he'll try and find out where he is and let me know. Vic's our best bet. He knows more about Dow's and Royal Fire than all the other jokers put together. Miguel, I, I wondered if I could stay a little bit longer. Maybe I could help. Track a distance here, por favor. There must be somebody if we can't get Vic. So far, there isn't. We've been trying. Call Francis in New York. He used to have a crew that could handle anything. It won't hurt to try. We ain't done business with them in years, but it won't hurt to try. Marca distancia. This is for New York. Agent. Very urgent. Quiero hablar con Galvez in Texas, por favor. Thank you, I will. What company? You can't? What about the O'Donnells? Yeah, I see. those real nice before you send them off, will you? If you have any scarves, maybe I'll send some of them to you. Si, senor, como no, un momentito. Those are for some secretaries I know back home. Oh, look, Felicia. Here's a live parrot. Oh, isn't he beautiful? I'd so like to pet him. Huh? Oh. Excuse me, ma'am. You know, with any animal, just let them know you're not afraid of them. They won't bite. Here, buddy, buddy. <coughs> you dead gasted hellfire green monster. Well, in mating season, you can't depend on anything. Shall we go, Felicia? We're late. Senor. Oh, well, I, I tell you, I've, uh, I changed my mind about that, all right? Oh, muchas gracias. Thanks, Adios. <laughs> no, 
Now, senorita, the boat is ready. Yes, thank you. I will prepare the skis, senorita. Right. Uh, Laura, before you go, please, let me take one picture. All right. Uh, up on the wall. And I want a great big smile from you. What is it they say to get a nice smile? Cheese? All right. Cheese, cheese, cheese. There. Now, if this is no good, I kill myself. Oh. <laughs> Laura, you can go ahead. I'll show you the picture when you come back. Huh? Oh, and I'll take care of all your things. Don't worry. That other boat? Ah, si, si, senor. since I was a little old baby. <laughs> it's not funny the way it feels out here. Boy, oh boy, that's wet. <laughs> Stop laughing. That's not nice. I'm sorry. I can't help it. <laughs> now, you ought to be flattered. The first time I've ever gone to such lengths to meet a girl. Well, I am flattered, but you still haven't met me. You know, ma'am, you're yeah, absolutely right. I'm Big Scott. <laughs> I'm Laura Kingsley. It seems like I know that name. Seems like you know a lot of girls' names. Alicia, this is Mr. Scott. This is Montera. Mrs. Montera's husband's the biggest publisher in Venezuela. How do you do, ma'am? How do you do? Thanks, amigo. Which I rest is here. Can we give you a lift somewhere, Mr. Scott? Well, sure would come in handy. I'm at the villa. Thank you both, ma'am. Oh, he did nothing. Uh, in back, please. Yes, ma'am. My 
husband takes wonderful photos with his camera, but I am so stupid. It's the first time Laura Kingsley ever lost her head. I'm sure I've heard that name somewhere. Hmm. I'm sure, too. Miss Kingsley is a very famous author. Oh, sure. That's right, Laura Kingsley. Didn't I read about you winning some sort of prize? Only the Harper's Literary Award, that's all. Oh, you must be good. And what do you do, Mr. Scott? I'm an oil. What are you doing in Caracas? Oh, research on my next book. I've written too much about things I know. I want to get a fresh look at people. People with a fresh point of view. Now, you see, that's what I mean by a fresh point of view. Each building with a different color. Yeah, it's a good idea, too, ma'am. You'd have to be awful drunk to forget which one you live in. <laughs> you know, ma'am, there are some places in Caracas a woman can't go without a man along. I'd be glad to look after you. Oh, well, that's very generous, but... Mrs. Montero and her husband are taking very good care of me. How long are you going to be here? Oh, I'm leaving tomorrow. Oh. Well, here we are, Mr. Scott. Thank you, ma'am. Uh, say, what are you doing tonight? I'd like to show you some of the sights. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm afraid I can't. Well, thanks for the bus ride. Bye. Bye, ma'am. Yes, goodbye. Senor Orlando is well, except for this unfortunate tragedy. In fact, he's going to be married soon to Miss Elena Holbrook. I'll give Mr. Miller my very best regards when he returns. He's the guest list for tonight, sir. What's from Miller? Miller is wildcatting on his own with great success. He is very busy. Nobody, nobody. I don't know what else there is. And Santos called from the Weather Bureau. The barometer's falling and they've issued storm warnings. We're in luck. Big Scott somewhere in Caracas on a vacation. Wait to say so, boy. Let's go get him. Which one he wants to fly over after him? I'll get him. I know just where to look for that joy boy. Turn now, Ricardo. You're such a wonderful dancer. Yes, wonderful dancer. Felicia, Ricardo's a magnificent dancer. <laughs> yes. Uh, Felicia. Oh, please do. I want to see you dance. Very well. Excuse us, please. Yes. I just wanted to explain. I didn't mean to snub you this afternoon, but... I don't but... blame you. I don't look my best with my pants wet. Well, as I was saying, I am leaving in the morning, and this is my last evening here, and I must spend it with the Monteros. I just didn't want you to think that... that I was rude. You were quite right, ma'am. You're really not my type. I, I mean that as a compliment. You seem to think differently this afternoon. Well, it's hard to tell without clothes, you know, in a bathing suit. Oh. But, uh, if you have a minute, could I buy you a drink? Oh, I'm not sure, really, but... Yes. Fine, what would you like? Well, I've heard about them, but I've, I've never had one. A Maracaibo. Two Maracaibo. <laughs> I still say you'd make a heck of a model. You do very well with what you wear. I think you do very well with what you wear. How is your waterproof suit? Oh, fine. I just wore it in the shower and hung it up to dry. Oh. Tell me, Miss Kingsley, exactly what sort of books do you write on your bestsellers? Oh, 
No. I've written three, and only the last is a bestseller. The others are what you might call worse sellers. Salute. What's it called? I'm archival. I mean your book, the bestseller. Female in the Dark of Night. Hmm. Sounds like something I'd enjoy. You'd better read it before you jump to conclusions, Mr. Scott. Could be, except I don't get very much time to read novels, but I'll read your book, that's promised. I still wish you'd explain about my being not your type. Well, ma'am, uh, if I was to ask you right now to leave here with me and hit the hot spots, you're the type that'd say no. Oh, of course. I couldn't just leave the Monteras, but they're my hosts. Laura, we were worried. What happened to you? Oh, I'm sorry. I ran into Mr. Scott. You remember Mrs. Montera? Well, how could I forget her? And Mr. Montera, Mr. Scott. How do you do? Oh, yes. <laughs> Laura, it's very late. We must leave now. Oh, darling. You and Ricardo wouldn't mind if I stayed just a little while longer with Mr. Scott. He's giving me some very valuable information for my book. I'm with the Encyclopedia Alcoholica. Uh, yes. Of course, Laura, if you wish. Vámonos, Ricardo. I won't be late. I really shouldn't have done that. I think you did a terrible thing, ma'am, and I'm glad. Here we go. Let's get rolling. Archival to you. Mm, I was sure they put perfume in it. Tastes like it. Your imagination supplies that. Like in one of your books, maybe. My books, I hope, have truth as well as imagination. What are your books about? About love, mostly. Mm, about love? From experience? <laughs> well, not exactly. In that case, I propose a toast. To research. going around me. <laughs> <laughs> How much of the secret fuel does it take to send you into space? Oh, I don't know, ma'am. About the 16th, I begin to lose count. <laughs> you call everybody man. Everybody but misters. <laughs> <laughs> How's research? I think it's just wonderful. just the place. That's 
the difference. Oh, words, words, words. There is no difference. But I live, ma'am. I mean, Laura. I don't just sit around dreaming things up. You live, Vic. You astound me. Your life is about as much fiction as anything I could write. An oil fire, a plane to somewhere, a frenzied vacation, the same gifts, the same words. Sally, Irene, Mary. You call that living. I sure do. Now, what about you? You write a book about love. You win a prize. You don't live life, you just write about it. And if you're awfully lucky. If I'm awfully lucky, I'll meet a man like Dick Scott. And perhaps someday receive a gift from some far away place. <laughs> I'm glad you changed the subject. <laughs> Buddy, buddy. I'm glad we are. Oh, I like it up here. I never want to go back to Earth again. Why? I thought we had a pretty good time there. The best I've ever had on Earth. If it would stay like that, I wouldn't mind. I'll see if I can arrange it. I know a congressman real well. Mm. Oh, I like you, Vic. No, I like you too, buddy, buddy. Promise me, if you ever send me a gift from some far off place, it won't be what you send the others. That's a promise. Anything for you has to be special. You, you must have every tank bigger than a beer can in Caracas. I got drunk just looking for you. Hey, wake up, boy. We got a blowout. Okay, I hear you. Is it still confined? What I left it was. It's pretty bad, Vic. Could you come right away? We got a storm warning, too. A heavy Marulo, baby. I checked out of your hotel. I got your luggage along. I got a DC-3 waiting. Easy, boy. You wake up the whole country. Hey, look, buddy, buddy. I'll have to get a taxi and send you home. I'm, I'm going to a fire. Oh, where's the fire? In Maracaibo, miss. It's real urgent. Is there room in the plane for another passenger? Now, look, buddy, buddy. You're not Vic, even... please. All my life, I want to go to a real first-class fire. Could be dashed by the Monteras and pick up my things. It'll only take five minutes. Milk, five minutes. Let's take the little lady along, okay? Look, I don't care if you take Hazel, Mabel, Lucy, or Becky, but five minutes is all we can spare. In 30 minutes, we're going to be flying. Good to see you again, Milk. Same here, Vic. What does it take a fire for you to fly and see an old friend? Well, you know how it is. Say, I heard you got married. Who is it, somebody from uh, Brooklyn? There you go again. The way you say Brooklyn, you make it sound like a disease. No, she's not from Brooklyn. She's from right here. I never had it so good. She's a good cook, too. We got a couple of kids, too. Well, that's nice to hear. I was afraid the only thing you were interested in was a, an oversexed gal who owned a bar. Oh. Well, good morning, Miss Maracaibo. What? 
want some coffee? You take creamy sugar? No, thanks. Just black. Well, tell us how it feels to be a satellite the morning after. Please. Oh, this is absolutely idiotic. I never should have done this. Oh, well, sure you should. We were on the radio with Maracaibo. Said your lad was delighted. He thinks you're one of the real big shot novelists of our time. It's very gracious of him. Whoever he is. He's one of the richest men in the world. Income about a million dollars a week. Lucky man. Well, not always. Did you encourage me? Or did I do this all by myself? It was your idea. The Brooklyn Fog going here is my witness. Oh, I must have been out of my mind. Oh, good heavens. The Monteras. Oh, no. I remember. You know, you look real good dressed this way, but uh, in case you don't agree, your clothes are along back there. Thank you. And before you meet Orlando, uh, an exploding well a few years ago sent a piece of steel right through his throat. And he can't talk at all. Oh, I'm sorry. Take a look. Marcago? Part of it. Can't see the fire from here. The lake's 120 miles long. There's over 6,000 oil wells down there. Will we go straight to the fire? No, we're picking up Orlando on the way first. He'll have a police escort and limousine waiting. You can bet on that. Flames would bring you to Maracaibo. Uh, well, thank you for your hospitality. Uh, Miguel, good to see you. Been a long time in Lago. You've grown to be a regular old man, buddy, buddy. Uh, you haven't changed much, buddy, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> Miguel, I'd sure like to take a look at that fire. Oh, will I have a chance to see it later? Otherwise, I'll... Uh, sleepy, huh? Sure. See you later. Senor Orlando hopes you will forgive him for the urgency of the business. Amelia will take care of your needs until we return. Of course. Thank you. Senorita, por aquí. For the engagement party tonight, Senor Orlando plans to be married. Oh? Well, your heart, when we move any closer, they'll send you crisper than an outside cut. We'll have to clean off that debris and have the gases going straight up before I can get on that blast. What's the pressure at the head? Well, about 2,000 pounds, flowing about 500 barrels an hour. How long is the pressure going to stay up? Oh, about four or five days, then it'll drop to about 60 pounds. Then we'll wait. Get out on the platform, clear it off, and snuff out the wake. Miguel feels such a delay would be dangerous. The oil flowing shoreward is a threat not only to the other wells, but to the people in their homes. He does not want a repetition of the disastrous fire of 39. You got diving gear? Well, sure I got diving gear. I don't mean the big helmet, air pump kind of rig. I mean skin diving gear. Face mask, self-contained tank. I'm sure we can find it in Caracas. Well, with skin diving gear and a hot tap assembly, I could install a bleed off valve. Well, the kind of assembly you want, I don't know where to get in a hurry. A little old place called Houston, Texas, buddy, buddy, not Brooklyn. How long would it take to get here? Well, it'll be a couple of days anyway. Miguel will arrange with the Ministry of Defense to have one of our jet fighters pick up whatever is necessary. Good. In that case, we'll have it here in the morning. And if you don't mind, I'll have my divers here, big helmets and all, cut out the outer case on, and be ready for the master's touch. Hey, you want to go any closer? Heck no, get away from that monster. Elena Holbrook. Oh. How do you do? I'm Laura Kingsley. I know. 
I was in Caracas shopping. When I got back, you were having a nap. Would you like a drink? Oh, no, thank you. Not now. You flew in with Vic Scott this morning. Yes, do you know Vic? Well, everyone knows of him. Have you known him long? No, less than 24 hours. Am I right in assuming that you're Senor Lando's fiance? I'm the lucky girl. You are indeed. From what I've heard of him and my brief meeting with him this morning, he seems a remarkable man. Yes, he is. It's his brother. He's so charming. His brother? Yes. Oh, Lago. Lago isn't Miguel's brother. His parents were Americans working down here. He was often in the big fire of 39. Miguel adopted him. Oh, I see. He appears very devoted. May I ask you a personal question? Yes. Well, Miguel says... Well, he says that no woman since Elizabeth Barrett Browning has written so eloquently about love. Well, I was simply wondering if... You mean, do I live what I write? <laughs> I suppose a lot of people have asked you that. Yes, and I always give the same answer. You don't have to die to write a death scene. The Harper's Literary Award is quite a catch. Never thought of it like that. A good deal of work, believe me. And a good deal of doubt. And some satisfaction. Well, there you are, darling. Were you out of the fire? Everything's under control now that Vic's on the job. Senor Lando is pleased that you two have become acquainted. You're a very rewarding sight, Miss Kingsley. That is, Senor Orlando says... <laughs> Thank you, Paul. Vic will be here in a moment. When will he put out the fire today? I don't want to miss it. I'm afraid it's not that easy, Miss Kingsley. You see, we have to order some special equipment before he can even begin. Tonight's research sure didn't dim your fire. You look as bright as a dime. I feel more like two cents, I'm afraid. Vic, I'd like you to meet Miguel's fiance, Miss Elena Holbrook, Mr. Scott. How do you do? I've heard so much about you, Mr. Scott. I feel I already know you. Uh, Miss Holbrook, my good friend Miguel, Amor, Pesetas, which you already have, and a long and happy life. You know, she'll made some changes since I was around here last. More paintings, statues, television. Yes, the homes of Venezuela are filled with dead cowboys now. <laughs> you know, excuse me, I think I'd better take a shower, maybe a little five-minute nap. See you in a bit. Mr. Scott. I'll show you where your room is. You might get lost here. A shock after three years. Thanks for covering up. I didn't want Miguel to know about us. It would only bother him. I wouldn't be surprised. A gentleman of his caliber. How have you been? Never worry about this boy. Where's my room? Vic, I want to talk to you. You and I have nothing left to talk about. You were wrong about me. Yeah, sure I was. Look, I don't want to get started on that. Please. I have a new start here. People think well of me. I'm going to marry Miguel. Boy, he'd better brace himself. But I've changed. Sure you me? have. From the Dutch merchant to the Bolivian playboy, up and up and up to the host with the most. You know I like good living, Vic. I can't help it. Yeah, and you still get it at the same old price. Is that my room? No. Vic, you blame me. It never occurred to you that. Let it go. That's all past. Just don't interfere. That's all I ask. That much you owe me. I owe you? <laughs> That's a laugh. I owe Miguel something. He's my friend. Question is, how do you tell your friend that the girl he's going to marry is a tramp? Are you going to show me my room or not? That was very generous of you, Miss Kingsley. I'm honored. This will be more than ever a treasured possession. Oh, you're very kind. I have long admired the many qualities of your writing, but I had not expected you to be so beautiful. Why? <laughs> because though you write so knowingly of a woman's need for love, you have never written of the fulfillment of that need. <laughs>
was, I'd give him the ears and the tail. <laughs> Miguel, may I have the pleasure of dancing with your fiancé? Oh, I'd love to. Excuse me. Oh, go right ahead, buddy, buddy. Miguel's a great dancer. All I can do is bunny hook. <laughs> Very fond of Miss Kingsley? Sure. She's quite a gal. Boy. Got a crush on her already, boy? <laughs> Stop kidding. I admire her, that's all, and I just wondered how serious you were about her. Well, listen, Father Confessor, the only thing I'm serious about is fighting fires. Does that take a load off your mind? <laughs> I'm so glad I came here. It's a lovely party. Miguel is a wonderful dancer, isn't he? Oh, the best. A little more champagne, Vic? Sure. Just leave the bottle. French sure know how to package things, don't they? Well, that's what I've been doing. You inspire me, ma'am. Besides, dancing is the only excuse for doing this in public. Oh. <laughs> Miss Kingsley? Excuse me. Vic, the underwater gear just arrived. Milk phone, he's gonna bring it down to the dock now. Oh, well, is that all? I thought you were gonna ask the lady for a dance. I, I'd really love to, but I should stay by Miguel. I understand, Largo. Can I borrow a car? Yes, it's in the drive. Wanna come along? Yes, where? See, that's how you get into trouble, buddy, buddy. You should ask where first. Oh. <laughs> Bye, Lago. Bye. Lago, you've been ignoring me. I'm sorry, I must look after Miguel's interests. You'll excuse me. They might not have them where you come from. Okay, okay. When you lay off Brooklyn, you know there's lots worse places to be from. Where? All right. Your gears are back in the truck. You sure are a brave soul, Miss Kingsley, riding in a car with Vic. Oh, not really, Mr. Carger. Just living dangerously for a change. How do you like Maracaibo? I think it's wonderful. Have you been here long? Oh, going on 50 years. Vic and I came down here together. What, to fight fires? No, nah, we were just tool pushers then. Vic didn't get into this crazy racket until about seven or eight years ago. Sure is a nervous way to make a living. <laughs> Milt? Yeah? Uh, check those tanks for me, will you? Make sure they're off the full pressure. Pure air now, no oxygen. Okay. Say, where'd you later do this underwater work? Oh, I had two years in the service with a frogman. I spent so much time underwater, I'm still soggy. <laughs> what time of the morning are you going to be ready? Oh, well, nine o'clock. I figured the hot tap assembly should be here by then. Thanks. I'll still wear your gear for you. Okay. Good night, Miss Kingsley. Good night. And take it easy. Oh, don't worry. I'm a big girl now. I'd say you're just about right. Well, I didn't think you noticed. There it is, Barroso number seven. I thought you'd like to see it. I think it was anything like that. Is it true a storm is moving this way? Yeah, it looks like it. If we get it before we put that fire out, it can turn Maracaibo into one big inferno. I think you enjoy fighting fires. Because it is dangerous and has a challenge for you. Well, I don't know. Somebody's got to do it. Well, why you? Why do you do it? It's made me a rich man, for one thing. That means something to me. I got my education in bits and pieces, just, just like my food and clothing. Now I can buy just about anything I want. 
That's not your reason. Not really. Well, I don't have to do it, if that's what you mean. I, I've got a few all wells of my own. Only a handful of men in the world can lick a fire like that. Less than a dozen men, you know, that's a fact. Makes me feel sometimes that I'm bigger and better than anybody else. You make me feel that way too, buddy, buddy. Then why don't you let your hair down? Just feel. You know, we were having a lovely time in Caracas when we were interrupted. Where did we leave off? I think it was here. man's heart is through his stomach. I think you found a new route. I like your mouth when you smile. I like your mouth. telling you what else. Now, what else? I won't be made love to by a man who... Who what? Who's pretending I'm somebody else. Now, look, if you don't want me, that's okay. But don't expect me to buy a phony reason like that. It's true, isn't it? Elena is your excuse tonight. If Milt hadn't caught up with us, what would have been your excuse last night? Well, what do you know? It's a story of your life, isn't it? You love love as an idea, not as a fact. You won't admit there are some things you just can't do mentally. You have no I'll give you a title for your next book, Miss Kingsley. Female completely in the dark. Enjoy the party, Miss Kingsley? Oh, it was a lovely party. I hope Senor Orlando didn't mind my leaving with Vic. Oh, no, he wants you to feel completely at home here. He likes you very, very much. And I like him. He seems like an unusually sensitive and fine person. He's the finest person I've ever known. He has understanding and compassion for everyone. Sometimes he doesn't know what's best for his own good. I hope you'll be with us as long as you can. Thank you. Good night, Miss Kingsley. Good night, I'll go. about me. I don't know anything about love. Not the kind I feel for him. Oh, I've written about what I think it is or thought it should be. But I've never felt it before. Not really. Is it 
impossible to fall so in love with a man I hardly know. A man I just met two days ago. feeling I've had for any man. Oh, Miguel, if I should be just another woman to him, I don't think I could stand it. to marry Miguel, Elena. I want you to leave here as soon as you can. Make some excuse for why you're breaking off the engagement, without humiliation to him or to you. I haven't shown this to him yet, but if I have to, I will. never would have thought that a man like Vic... Do you think if he knew how I really feel about him, it might make a difference? I don't know what to do. I don't care if they do. I don't care anymore. Well, I do. Get out of here. Vic, I can't go through with it. Can't go through with what? The marriage. I just can't. They will tell Orlando, not me. Now get out and stay out, will you? Vic, listen to me, please. You never let me explain, even before, with us. Explain what? I walked in on you. Should have beaten you up instead of him. What was there to explain? A lot. What did you know about me or care? Except that you wanted me. You never needed me. You just wanted me. I thought you were different. Oh, come on, Elena, you're wasting your time. I bought the Brooklyn Bridge once. I'm sure not going to buy it again. You told me when you were a kid you had a hard time. Well, it's worse for girls. Believe me, it is. From the time I was 15, I despised myself and everybody else. I thought all men were pigs and animals. Except you. I thought you would give me love and... And I did, until I got wise. Oh, come on, I told you, you're wasting your time. You haven't gotten over me, Vic. That's why it still makes you mad. I can hear it. I can see it. Oh, love me, Vic. Please love me. Are you insane? I'm the same, Vic. It can be the same as when we first met. Just love me. You know your way around men, Elena. You made a fine study of it. You don't have to prove that to me. But it's not enough to love somebody with your body. And that's all you know. Now get out of here before I break your neck.
blasted heat. How to stick here by the minute. Where's Palmer with that assembly? Is he coming by way of Brooklyn? I told you he left the airport a half hour ago. He should be here any minute. Delaco, what's the latest on the weather? The barometer's still falling. The Barulio should hit sometime tonight. That's a shift direction. Miguel, I'd like you to explain precisely what you intend to do in the water, Vic. Oh, sure, Miguel. Well, we'll take the assault boat as close as possible to the well. I dive down to here. I stole the bleed-off assembly, if we ever get it. It'll be here. Then I drill into the casing. I'll make the cut about here. This will reduce the pressure and flow so we can clear off the platform and blast out the plane. Well, many different ways of doing it, of course. Sometimes we rig a boom and drop a bomb on Hello, Miss Kingsley. Good morning, Mr. Carger. Good morning, everybody. Morning. You're already gone by the time I got up this morning. and it just didn't seem right not to say good luck to all of you. It was very thoughtful of you, Miss Kingsley. Milt, Senor Orlando would like to speak with you a moment. Well, this is a surprise. I guess I ought to apologize for last night. Not for the past. That was a good idea. But, uh, no hard feelings? Oh, heavens, no. In fact, I learned something about myself. I was about to come and tell you last night. Then I saw her coming out of your room. Oh, now, look, don't jump to any conclusions. I tried to... You don't have to explain, Vic. But I'd like you to. Elaine and I were almost married a few years ago. Didn't work out. I was kind of bitter for a while, but it's finished now. She just didn't want Orlando to know, that's all. Vic, I love you. There. That's what I was going to say last night. Well, now that I've been so brazen, aren't you going to say anything? All I can do is give you some advice, buddy, buddy. I'm not the man you're looking for. You want a guy who'll give you a happy ending. I'm strictly hit and run. Okay, Vic, it's here. I'll see you. Texas. Looks pretty good. Well, what are you waiting for? Let's get it aboard. Vamos, a la lancha. I said. Yeah, you rigged her pretty good. You know, that's the one big trouble with you. You forget that we built the Brooklyn Bridge long before your Texas friends ever heard of oil wells. Yeah, we had case of and Flatbush before Jim Bowie had a pet knife. What did I say? It's just that everybody thinks that Brooklyn is populated by idiots. Well, now that the bums have left. Don't get me started on those guys. Don't get me started on them. You better fire up, Palmer. Now, who's going to handle the tool cradle? Me? Who else? And guide the assembly down the trolley line. You got four arms. The lines won't follow. How do you know? Miguel well, says I can go with you. Just tell me what to do. I can take care of that tool crate line, Milt. Well, you better stay with Miguel while I go. We can get a rough mix. No, Miguel's going back to the house. Emilio will be with him. But right now, this is more important to Miguel and to me. I want to be in on it, Vic. Okay, buddy, buddy. Let's go. Sizzle, but get her as close as you can and hold her steady. That's important. Okay, V. Bill, 
Yeah. I'm going to take down the trolley line. When I'm in position, I'll signal on that line and you send down the hot tap assembly. Got it? Got it. Hand me the mouthpiece. Delago, you keep this airline clear. I don't want to be on this all day. I like being home for cocktail time. Okay, General. Well, let's go. See ya, Palmer. Now listen. When you get in the close position, you put those hoods on and keep them on. I don't need it, Vic. I don't like anything covering my face. You do what I tell you. Okay. Happy that line. Okay. by now.
Vista Santum Incionem, Indulcati Mi Domini, Quid Quid Derliquisti, Amen. Will you? Vic, tell me what to do. Yeah, I'd like to, but you wouldn't do it. Even though you hate me, I have no one else to turn to, or even talk to. I don't know what to do about Miguel and marriage. Told me you couldn't marry him. Anyway, don't bother me with it. I've got work to do. Lago knew all about me. He had a whole book full of clippings. He threatened to show them to Miguel. Well, dirty, That's why you made your pitch for me last night, huh? Because Lago wouldn't let you marry Miguel. That's true. But it isn't like that anymore. I'm thinking of Miguel now. Don't feed me that slop. You don't care where you make your bed as long as it's 100% down. Do one decent thing in your whole life, Elena. Don't run on him now when he's got nobody, when he depends on you. That's just it. He's got me up on a pedestal and I can't live up to it. I can't bear it. Why don't you think about somebody else for once instead of just you? Your feelings, your problems. What about him? A man's in agony now without Lago. You can't bear it. What do you think he feels? I know. I know. But what will happen later? He's bound to find out about me sometime. I didn't care about that before. But I do now. I don't want to hurt him. This is another act, Elena. It's the best one so far. I hope it isn't for your sake as well as his. The only thing I can say is to stick with him. And later, well, worry about that later. I'll try. This boy's crazy about peanut butter. Sure can't handle it. Look at it. Hello, it's Palmer. Has he got the nitro there yet? Uh, how about the nitro? It'll be a couple of hours. Oh, a couple hours. Yeah, what's that? Yeah, okay. He's doing the best he can. Well, it won't be good enough if that storm breaks first. Don't think you ought to grab a little nap. You look pretty beat. Why don't you grab a little nap? If I look as psyche as you, I'd stay underwater permanently. He hasn't missed Largo yet. Why did it have to happen? Why the kid? Why him? I'll be in my room. Let me know when Palmer's on the way with the nitro. Okay. Yeah.
getting ready. Hi, buddy, buddy. May I come in? Uh, you are in. Come on in further if you like. What's on your mind? You. What about me? Well, I've been thinking about what you said on the pier. And I wonder why it has to be that way with you. Just because you were hurt once. It's not that. Then what? I've been very honest with you, Vic. Perhaps more honest than a woman should be. Because I believe that people can ruin their whole lives by a word or the lack of one. Have you been honest? Really honest with me? Well, no, I haven't been. I mean, what I've said here and there hasn't been the whole truth or nothing but. I uh, got mad at you last night because things didn't go according to plan. This morning you took me by surprise, so I reacted like a frightened snake. But I respect you a whole lot. I, I wanted to tell you, but uh, I just couldn't. You know, you've got more guts than I have. That's the nicest compliment I've ever had. Uh, and also, I, you know, I've got some business I could do in New York, and if you're going back there, maybe you could show me the sights. What do you say? Yes. And I tell you that. This is my last fire, I promise you. You don't have to be afraid anymore. Oh, I'm not afraid anymore. Because I love you. I love you. I love you. I love you. Hey, Vic. The last weather report has a star moving north on a diagonal. But who catch the fridge of it? How soon? Well, two, three hours, maybe, but sometime tonight, for sure. How long has it taken to get here with that nitro? They better drive slower than it, but they won't get here at all. I could have walked here faster with it. I want to get this over with. You worried about this with Vic? Or is it Largo? No, I just want to finish it. Here comes our nitro. It's going to be my last fire. This is a nitro, good boy. I had to cut it in chunks and shrink it on primer cord. That's my buddy, buddy. Always thinking. I'll hand them down to you and Palmer. Okay, but take it easy with that stuff. If I drop one, you can sue me. There you go, Milk. Palmer! What's the matter with you? Are you crazy? Throw this stuff around. What do you think it's funny? I got a wife with kids. What are you, crazy? Well, maybe there's change since you left Brooklyn, man. You'd have to hit this with a sledgehammer to make it go off. I know that. I just forgot. Do you mind? Easy! What's the pressure at the head now? Well, my slide rule boys figure about 65 pounds. 
have the detonator set for 15 minutes. Is that okay with you? Yeah, fine. Hey, the wind's coming out. Let's get going. Over the side, hand me this and the work line. Huh? Yeah, and this too. What's that? I want to have a tow line on you. Well, I don't. Oh, come on, do me a favor. Let me have a little peace of mind, will you, please? If you have to be pulled up, just give a little yank out this. Let's have a live coward instead of a dead hero, okay? Okay. I'll take me five minutes to get down there. Five minutes to take the nitro and start the timer. Let me say ten minutes to come back to the surface, get on board. That'll still give us five minutes to get a good distance from here before she blows. Well, maybe I should set the timer for 20 minutes then. No, 15's fine. I'm watching my work light when I'm on the way up. And uh, one more thing. When we hit our close position, don't get any closer. I don't want you to... Just keep your distance, you hear? Palmer, that's close enough. Swing your broadside and uh, stop so I can go over the side. Okay, Dick. That's what I wish. If the storm catches us before we are back at the dock, we will need more good luck. Yeah. I don't like the way that well is acting up again. drift a little closer. I want to give Vic a couple of tugs, just to make sure he knows where we are. Wise guy. It's a good thing I had this line on him.
I guess he should be on his way. some time ago. He should be back by now. It's a long way round to the dock, of course. And Don't worry about him. He's indestructible. Yes, he seems to be. He should be back by now. I suppose Vic has told you about me. No, not very much. And only because I saw you coming out of his room, I didn't know what to think. I wish you luck. I really mean it. I hope it goes well for you. You might be just what he's been looking for. Thank you. That's very nice of you. Say hello to him for me, in case I'm not around. Miguel, I hate to do this. Now especially, but I'm leaving right now. I just came to say goodbye. I could have left a letter, but for once I want to do things the hard way. No, please listen to me. Vic didn't want me to do this. He thought I should wait. But I think he's wrong. It would only hurt more later. Hey, you can see why. I don't belong with anyone as fine and as good as you. Lago had that. He didn't want me to marry you. He was quite right.
I love you, Beth. Oh, Miguel. No man has ever said that to me before. I thank you, Miguel. I love you. I'll learn to be your boys. I'll stay at your side as long as you want me to be. explosion caught him. I don't know what happened exactly. I had a rope on him. I thought I was pulling him in, but I only had the tool bag on it. One of his jokes. Then you think he's... Did you look for him? He searched round and round, but the storm got so bad we had to quit. Then maybe he's all right. He could be, couldn't he, Milt? I don't know what to say to you. I love the guy, but it would be right to kid you. He was still down there someplace when the nitro went off. I'm all right. Can I help you get your drink? No, thanks. I need one before I go and tell Orlando. I think I'll get loaded anyway. 